It could have happened anywhere, but on April 7, 1911, fate chose the small Lackawanna County community of Troop. The coal that provided many with their livelihood took life away from 72 miners at the Price Pancost Colliery. It became known as Black Friday. Like I say, the, the man who ran that engine went someplace on another job, another engine probably. And uh, the engines were mounted on timber. So when he left, that oil lamp tipped over. So that caught the timbers on fire. At first, the fire was thought a nuisance. It started at 9 a.m. and miners weren't ordered out until two hours later. By then, it was too late. 700 feet below the surface is the China vein, the only exit blocked by smoke. Topside, the crowd swelled to 5,000 as horror struck friends and family waited for word. 350 men worked at the Pancoast mine. In all, 73 died, 72 miners and one rescue worker. It devastated the immigrant community. About 60 women were widowed, more than 120 children were orphaned. Frank Barbalish was one of seven children. He remembers the difficult times. Well, yeah, it was tough for five or six years, I'd say. So we got all working, you know. All my brothers and sisters, they worked. Yeah, it was real tough. My grandmother took the family back to Poland, and the grandfather was supposed to go back there and meet the family after they get back to Poland. In the meantime, the disaster happened, and he was killed. Kratz was Schenick's grandfather, Emil, his two brothers, and a cousin were lost. Life was tough on the survivors. Local businessmen set up a relief fund, raising nearly $100,000, an astronomical sum 75 years ago. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce, all the business in around Lackawanna County, uh, they had a, a fund, like, all the people donated in money. Four years later, as a direct result of the Pancost disaster, workmen's compensation became law. There also came a flood of new mine safety regulations. Many of the victims lived a stone's throw from the mine, and they are buried just as close. Northeast Pennsylvania is well known for its work ethic. Six days after the disaster, just enough time to clear the debris, about 70 new workers descended into the China vein to mine a living. It's something that happened and it should be remembered. <laughs>